schools in Gainesville, Georgia. Now, the people that live in Atlanta slash College Park, Georgia, I know you all know that African American is probably the most popular race in each school, but in Gainesville, Georgia, African American is the smallest race at their schools because, well, first, you gotta look and see. Gainesville, it's a whole other part of Georgia. Of course, Atlanta's population is higher than Gainesville's. Uh, ours is much larger. And every high school, every high school, probably elementary and middle school too, but I know for a fact all the high schools, African American is the smallest race. And Chester T. High, white is the most popular race, followed by Hispanic. At Gainesville High, Hispanic, followed by white. Yeah, again, African American is the smallest. Every, at every high school, African American is the smallest race, and this is all in Gainesville, Georgia. I drove through Gainesville, going to North Carolina a couple times, and I mean, I just always planned a trip down there. Just wanted to see somebody, but I know, you know, I honestly haven't thought about this person in a couple, in, in a while. Because every time I start hanging out with my boyfriend, my mind has kind of been, kind of been off this person. So, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm proud of myself that I'm growing up. I moved on, and you know, I just want to make sure that I just I stay this way. The high, I can't even the teachers are Hispanic or um, white at the high schools. Gainesville, Gainesville, Gainesville. I just want to know, like, most of the time people don't really want to know, like, they don't really care about race, but I'm just saying, that if African American, like if you're an African, an African American person, an African American is the smallest race at the school you're attending, it's going to be hard for you to fit in, being that a lot of people aren't your race. And I'm not trying to sound racist in this video. It's not not like that. If you all want to do your research, so be it. But yeah, I'm just telling you, all the high school in Gainesville, Georgia, Hispanic and white are the most popular. So, it's pretty self-explanatory. I would, see, Gainesville, but, but you have to look at Gainesville. You're talking about established in the 1800s, when none of us were even born yet. That school is extra old. So, I would not want to go to a school that's that old. I mean, I can't imagine there's anything new, except probably the staff members. But Gainesville, I mean, I know that it's a blue a blue ribbon school, but established in the 1800s, I would never want to go to school that old. So, I just want to make sure that I'm aware of everything of that nature and watch who I'm surrounded by because if it's not people of your race, it's going to be slightly difficult unless you have family of a different race. So, in Gainesville, it's just maturity. That how many high schools in Gainesville, Georgia? I don't know. I think it's hold on. It's now n no. West Hall is in Oakwood, Georgia. Flowery Branch is in Flowery Branch, Georgia. Gainesville High, Chesty High, Johnson High. Though all are in Gainesville. Is, is it any more? I think it is. I can't remember the names right now, but Johnson, Gainesville, and Chester T. High are all in Gainesville, Georgia. I know Chester T. is just about 13 minutes from Gainesville, not very far. So, yeah, I will go down there one day. Maybe when I start driving. <laughs> so, it can't be too much longer. I gotta be patient. So Gainesville will be my first 
if not independent with somebody else's field trip. So I just want to make sure I get that ready for when I start driving.